Wheel change is the most common task us engineers perform every single day. It can take from 13 minutes to 16 minutes to replace a wheel, depending if the brake fan is installed or not. Now let's have a look at different components during the wheel change. Tire has multiple protection layers. Now the second layer which we are seeing is the metallic protector layer. Any small part of that layer we see, we have to replace the wheel. The third layer we shouldn't be seeing at all. Now this is the shoulder area. So if the wheel is underinflated, the shoulder area will wear out first. So if the wheel is overinflated, the midsection will wear out first. So following the maintenance manuals and having the correct nitrogen pressure in the wheels is very important. Hydraulic pressure hose to supply hydraulic to the brakes. The brake wear indicator, which shows how much brake has been worn out. The brake temperature sensor connection is used to monitor the brake temperature. And the torque leg damper has its own pressurized hydraulic reservoir. Its function is to decrease the landing vibration through the torque links. To change the wheel, we need to use a jack to lift the aircraft. And that's the jacking point. After jacking, we start removing the axle nut. This is the axle nut. This is where the brake fan is installed. And this is where the anti-skid tachometer location is. Adapter to keep the axle threads safe while removing the wheel. That's the axle and that's the brake unit. It takes around 15 minutes to lift the aircraft because we use manual hydraulic jack. And that's how we keep our arms pumped. You will notice while installing the new wheel, we rotate the wheel while tightening the axle nut. This helps to seat the tampered roller bearings. Now, the tampered roller bearings are designed to distribute the load evenly across the wheel and the axle. And it can only be seated if it is properly torqued and rotated. It is also very important to follow the correct torque specifications while tightening the axle nut. The torque specifications are different for different types of wheels. So we can find that in maintenance manuals. So always follow the aircraft maintenance manuals while installing the wheel. And the last step is we deflate the unserviceable wheel.